Hey y'all. Oh, it's been a bad day. It's been a bad day, guys. Y'all know that I, I'm not one to take pills, especially pain pills, cause I just, they don't do work for me. But let me tell you, today I put up probably 20 feet of fence by myself, by myself. Uh, little dog decided she's gonna run through the cattle panel, or the hog panels and run off. She's done that three times today. So I went up to the feed store and got a roll of chicken wire and put it down at the bottom. It was tall enough that it reaches about my waist. And um, so I went over to the feed store and, sorry guys, let me fix y'all a little bit. Ugh, that's still a bad picture. Anyway, so I went down to the feed store, got the chicken wire, put that up by myself. I had to come in like three different times to wash the blood off my hands. I was just bleeding everywhere. You'd think I'd wear gloves, but no, I didn't. I mean, you can't, I don't think you can see me that, but it's pretty bad. I managed to burn my finger pretty gnarly. Uh, almost broke my thumb with the waffle maker today. Uh, it fell on me pretty bad. Uh, it's a little grindy, gristly feeling, but I'm tough. Anyway, so I took a morphine pill and a Motrin. And, you know, I know there's people out there worse off than I am with, with their back situation and stuff like that. Uh, it's just... I'm tired of dealing with this. You know, I don't, I have no help. Granted, he worked all night, so he's sleeping, so I couldn't ask him for help anyway, but he wouldn't have helped anyway. He'd be in the recliner going, you can do it. So I cooked dinner. He didn't like dinner, so I had to cook more dinner because he didn't like the first dinner. Uh, anyway. All right, guys. Anyway, what I want to talk about is, um, I know you're like sunshine it's already two minutes in you're not gonna start talking uh i really have been watching a lot of these haul videos from torrid and different places like that that have got some really cute clothes but the problem is i don't think i could spend 20 30 dollars on a shirt or jeans or something like that um but i'm tired of looking homeless i'm really tired of looking really homeless and i just i want to buy some new clothes but i just Oh, guys, I don't, can't see spending the money like that for stuff. I don't go nowhere. It's literally, I'm not even joking, y'all. Literally, it's like solitary confinement here. Uh, I don't go anywhere. I have nowhere to go. Uh, it's just me and the dog. And I'm just so sick of looking like this. You know, and I got an event coming in November. Um, and I kind of want to look decent for it, but I don't know. And Torrid, I... From what I've seen in the halls, those places have some dang good cute clothes. But the nearest toilet is in Lubbock, Texas. That's about a four hour, well, two and a half, three hour trip from here. I can't go to there, so it had to be online. And, um, but that's it's just so expensive. I hate spending money on myself, and I hate spending that kind of money, you know? But y'all, I've got, the depression's gotten to bad, so. And it's just like, I'm tired of looking like this. I'm so tired of it. Uh, and then Amazon's got some really cute stuff too. You know, up to a 5X. I don't wear a 5X. I feel like I probably should wear a 5X. I don't know. I'm probably more like a 3 or 4X, but I really I really don't know. I really want a cute little jacket type thing. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm looking for. But I'm not, I want something that's, um, it's called a high-low coat. I wish I would have, um, got the link for it or a picture of it but um you know just some i want like a duster maybe i really don't know i know on a jacket i'm probably gonna get like a four or five just so it don't have that extra room i want a hoodie i think i want a hoodie uh i don't own one of those and i really would like to have a hoodie you know like a little texas flag hoodie or texas pride hoodie i saw one on etsy that i really wanted it's the it's the shape of texas and it has a heart on it it says home um you know it's really really cute but y'all it goes down to i don't know if i could hey i don't know if i could really spend that kind of money on myself and i'm just having to fight this internal battle um because I'm thinking, with, because I, y'all know I'm on a fixed income, but I'm thinking every 
time I get paid, which is once a month, to buy just one piece, one small piece that's under $30, just buy one piece, and, and just start slowly replacing these cratty old stained up shirts and shorts, and buy, start something nice, because maybe if I look a little better, maybe I'll feel better about myself, you know? I really don't know what the solution is, but I just seen some cute, cute, cute stuff, and I'm like, you know, these girls are four or five hundred pounds, and they're buying finding stuff for their size, so maybe I could get stuff for my size. Uh, I'm a big girl, but I'm not. I'm I'm under three still. I'm under three hundred pounds, but I got a lot of boob, and I have my tummy because I have that mass in my tummy. Um, and for those that are joining, I I don't remember if y'all know. Uh, but they did rule out that it was it was not cancer, but they don't know what's going on in there. So the cancer was never it was not back, um, thankfully. So um, that was really good. But I've got that lump in my stomach, and it, and it makes me look like I have a big belly. Um, and you know, being cut open so many times, you got that mom pouch. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. And it's just like I feel disgusting. I feel disgusting. We have one mirror in this house, and it is covered. I do not even want to look at myself. Um, you know, I just... Ugh, ugh. So anyway, guys, I love y'all. And if y'all have any go-to plus-size clothing, like plus-size 3X, 4X higher, will you please link them below if you've had good uh, uh, service with them or whatever. I would appreciate that. I love y'all. Take care and spread peace, love, and kindness wherever you go.